getting support and sponsorship. So, you know, some other countries, they're able to get support and sponsorship mm -hmm. and all that. But I feel like here, I don't know if I would say they don't believe in us or they don't believe it's lucrative, mm -hmm. but we need help and we need sponsorship because at the end of the day, today's episode of honestly speaking now today i am being graced by a very very beautiful queen she's an actress she's a brand influencer she's a tv presenter she's a philanthropist she's but before i mention her name let's go and check out her work by the time we come back we'll know exactly who I'm can you do something about the car i have to be somewhere uh the car yeah i don't know it checked like it be the gear butterfly. Hey! Hey, my car has a butterfly? Yeah, it connect to the battery then. Hey! Who can say me Jimmy? Hey! Hey! Pasta! Another miracle over here! Butterfly. Oh, oh. Hey! Like the way they can't take your money. Come take me. Oh, boy! So, you did there or you get this Wakanda for your inside? Where they do your body like Slim Master, no? Blow for you. Oh, now nah, hey, baby. Can you be on here, Fluffle? Yes! <laughs> Welcome back, guys. So, like you know, I'm with the ever so beautiful Haley Sabri. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. You're so pretty. Oh, thank I hope you I so do, much. I hope I do this well because you're a host. You interviewed big, big oh. people. So, I hope I make you proud. <laughs> you are making me proud. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You so How are you doing? I am good. And I'm, yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I want to jump straight into it. How okay. did you get into the acting industry when your mother and your father is a doctor? Hey. Hmm. Y'all went there? I went there. I did my research, baby. Let's go. Straight, straight, straight. How did it work for you? <laughs> How did it work for you? Wasn't there like the pressure of like following in your... Um, so, first of all, mm -hmm. for those that don't know, mm -hmm. before I got into acting, you studied nursing. Aha! Uh -huh. ah, so, I was a nurse in the ah, USA, okay. California. Um, and funny enough, my mother, while we were living there, okay. was always pushing me to do modeling, taking oh, me so cool. for like all these auditions because I was like very slim and tall. I mean, and I'm pretty. still slim, but you and know, pretty. now I'm slim thick. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, I even did a Kellogg's commercial okay. for oh. cornflakes when i was about five years old so my mom was oh. always like pushing us into entertainment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's like she loved or loves education and entertainment so what i mean you studied nursing right so what was the transition like why where did you stop where did you say okay fine i'm not going to pursue the nursing anymore because was it university of california university of riverside of riverside california, oh, okay. california. yeah okay, got it. so tell me where the which came? Um, so I came to Ghana for holidays around 2012 mm -hmm. and I attended some events because I caught up with old friends and all. Okay. And a couple of people approached me and they kept saying, oh, you know, you have the look, you should be a presenter, yeah. you speak well and all that. That's true. And Ignis of Foresight TV yeah. was actually one of the people that kept on saying, you know what, you should be a presenter. Now, for people that don't know, I still am shy, but then I was very, very shy. Okay. So I'm like so shy in my own little bubble. And then he kept on saying that I should come to Foresight TV. Cut a long story short, six months later, I finally gathered the courage to go. And then I went through like 30 days training and all. And then I became a TV presenter. So that's where it started. Okay. Presenting. Okay. Yes. So it's, you started out as a presenter and then what Yeah, entertainment presenter. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you, what was it like interviewing Boris Kujo? Oh my God. So I think at that point, I had gathered a lot of courage. Okay. I had been practicing and stuff. And then, you know, being back in the U.S., California, I was so happy because this is me living in California. And Did you go to Ghana? I lived an, no, no, no. I lived an hour away oh. from Hollywood where they do BET Awards. 
Wow. Nobody's ever in, in, no one has ever invited me. Now I'm coming from Ghana yes, as a TV period. presenter, period. and I am doing red carpet hosting. BT, yeah. So I was actually very honored. It felt good. Of course, I was a little bit nervous, but I was like, no, I got this. And then mm-hmm. he's Ghanaian too, so you I was like so happy. Yeah it, yeah, it feels like a full circle moment, if you ask me. Totally. Yeah. Um. So let let me. I want to find out about your background. Are you what number are you and the siblings? Are you do you have siblings? Are you the first? Yes. You the... So I am the only girl. Okay. And I have three brothers. Okay. What was what was that like? You know what I realized? Girls who are raised with like brothers, you, we you tend to have like a tougher skin because the brothers bully. Did they bully you? <laughs> no, I bullied them. Oh. Okay. So I was the oldest. I have an older I cousin think, like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I raised them kind of because my parents were always working, as you know, in the yeah. U.S. You know the life out there. Yeah. So I was like always cooking, babysitting. My baby brother, he's gonna kill me if I say this, he's but because he, exactly, I used to change his diaper and everything. He calls me his second mom. So. Yeah, it was. So let me let's let's go back to when you came to Ghana, right? Mm-hmm. And you started out um, as a presenter. What was the? How did you get into acting? How did that come about? I mean, obviously it's like close, but then presenting and acting, I feel like it's two different things. So how were you able? Say, saying that you were shy before, how mm-hmm. were you able to like trans transition into becoming an actress and learning your lines? And- okay, so. I will take it back to the okay. beginning. So mm-hmm. my mother always getting us in, in, into entertainment and everything. I always had a passion to be a model and okay. an actress and okay. a doctor. Okay, period. So at least with nursing, I tried a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, as I was working with Foresight TV, um, I used to get, you know, being on TV also brings exposure and mm-hmm. stuff. So I got some opportunities to do some auditions and also um, got some, offered some roles. So one of the first roles I was offered to go and audition for was Heels and Sneakers. Oh, good. With, with Yvonne Nelson, right? Yes. And it was a French ladies role. So oh. I'm half French. Okay. I, I speak a good yeah, amount Canadian of French. Oh, oh. Not even that, like France. Fr- France, France. Aye. Yeah. But because yeah, I grew up in the U.S., my French is... I can get by. It's it's and, pretty good. It's okay, but it's not the best. So I went and did this audition and the role was good. I was able to speak the f- basic French they needed. Okay. And then that was the, my I... first time acting on, on camera. Okay. And apparently I did very well. Yeah. So then I started acting from there and then it just kept going, obviously, being on TV, doing well and all. So that's how I landed my first acting role in Ghana. Ghana. Have you done any work outside? Do you aspire to do work outside? Yes. Um, I got my first, should I say Hollywood job, mm-hmm. African and Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So Hollywood, Nollywood job in December. That was in Atlanta. This and last Holly- December? Yeah, oh, nice. in Atlanta and Hollywood. And then we're supposed to be shooting the rest of it in Ghana next month. Oh, that's nice. So I was actually like very, very happy about that. Are you still practicing medicine in any way right now? Mm, I won't say I'm practicing directly, but if you're talking about philanthropy, yes, I am. So I try to give back, okay, especially in the medical field and stuff. So we do a lot of stuff giving back, um, free medical checkups. Oh, that's nice. Blood pressure checks, free medical prescription glasses, free wheelchairs. So my parents have an organization called Mission Africa. Okay, and I have done like a collab with them you know trying to use my name and my brand to also you know create awareness and raise funds so that's yeah that's really nice that's really nice she's pretty and she's kind hey. okay hey. so we're hey. gonna go hey. on a quick break when we come back we're getting to the honestly speaking part uh oh yeah let me so take a sip for take that a sip because about to be hot <laughs> ladies <laughs> and gentlemen it's still honestly speaking with your girl abakumadati when we come back we're getting to that part okay <laughs> stick and stay we'll be right back <laughs> the 
break and wait. So the lady is beautiful. I'm talking to her. She's talking mm. to me, but I'm just looking at the beauty. I'm just like, wow. She's so pretty. But you're right. also pretty. So before we get there, mm. I know the full name is not Haley. Can you pronounce it? Because I know there's an O T T E at the end. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? My own research. Oh, yeah. My name is Haliet. Uh huh. I didn't know. I wasn't trying to. Haliet. What does it mean? Do you know what it means? It's such a pretty name. So according to my dad, mm -hmm. it's a Greek name. Okay. That has something to do with praise, so it's like hallelujah, oh, but Halia in a Greek Haliata. form. Is yeah. it French to it? Halia? No, it's Greek. It's Greek. Okay. And Please. I was named after his grandmother. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Please, Halia. Please put your hand on your chest for me. Yeah, do do like this. Don't worry. I feel. Uh huh. Then you do one. Like I this. solemnly swear. What? Yeah, yeah. We are about to then do good. Then you so you say I, and then you proceed with your name. I. Haley, Sumney. Promise to speak the honest <laughs> truth. I promise to speak the honest truth. <laughs> the whole truth. The whole truth and, and nothing, nothing but the period. truth. Period. So help me God. Say that so God. help me God. Yes, okay. Period, period. Thank you. All right, Haley. You can put your hand down. You've said it to all of us. You're about to speak the truth. The questions are hot. You are hot, but the questions are hotter than you. Okay? Are you ready? All right, cool. <laughs> Straight up, Mama J from Kaneshi is asking, what is the biggest lesson you've learned in life so far? Ooh, that is such a general question, yeah. though. Hmm. Indeed. General question. Okay, let's say in the last five years. Because hmm. your whole life, dear, that's a long time. So let's say five years. Life is short. That's true. So... As much as you take life serious, you need to have fun and take care of you because nobody will take care of you. You have to take care of yourself. Yeah, life is short. Life is really short, especially lately. That's true. Yeah. Mama J again, she's hey. asking, she likes your fashion sense and will be glad if you can share some tips for dressing to, for different occasions. Okay. So um, coming for this interview, mm -hmm. I thought, you know, it's something fun mm -hmm. so let me try and be fun and i like to be sparkly so i'm like you know let me wear something fun and sparkly um if you're going for something like a job interview obviously you want to look presentable mm -hmm. you want to look professional but you can also add your girly touch so it depends on who you are you can add a bit of your personality to your dressing i guess yeah, yeah i hear that yeah. um ignatius from Koforidia wants to know the most challenging role you've played as an actress. Ah, I remember that one very well. Okay. Um, I played, ooh, the title of the movie. I played a lesbian role. Oh. And I had to kiss the girl on screen. And like you said, mm. my parents and all very I strict. Can't imagine. So that was difficult for me. I, and I was imagine. very shy. Did yeah, you tell yeah, your yeah. parents before that mommy could your role with Oh your heck no. No? Have I don't even the movie? I don't think so. Let's <laughs> keep mommy, it like that. Let's keep Let's it like that. It. So yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I feel yeah. you. Um Young Baron from Nima wants you to share your thoughts on the current state of the Ghanaian film industry. And what <laughs> I knew changes, this question was gonna yeah, come. And what changes <laughs> would you like to make or would you see me? <clears throat> I think the um, Ghana movie industry, of course, we all know it's nothing to hide and nothing to lie about. You know, we were having challenges. We went down a bit, but I feel like we are picking up very well and um, we're all trying to support each other, you know, actors, producers, directors. And I think one thing I would love, which I was just talking about some minutes ago, is getting support and sponsorship. So, you know, some other countries, they're able to get support and sponsorship mm -hmm. and all that. But I feel like here, I don't know if I would say they don't believe in us or they don't believe it's lucrative. Mm -hmm. But we need help and we need sponsorship because at the end of the day, music and entertainment is a form of tourism. Yeah. Perfect example is Jamaica. Why do so many people want to go to Jamaica? Because they see movies videos music videos music, yeah. and all and they see that jamaica has resorts the beach is so beautiful and so on and so forth so we can also project ghana in the same way which i feel we do but we can do it even better and also we can get sponsorship and support especially from the ministry of tourism to do things like that because we all know that ghana is a hot spot right now yeah. everybody's coming to ghana yeah, so 
this is also a way to make Ghana money. Yeah, that's true. Mina from Pokwase wants to know how you've been able to maintain your standard with no controversial stories in this <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> I like to mind my business. Period. Period. I like to stay private. Yeah, I just mind my business. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I mind my business. And I think I'm naturally a quiet person. Okay. I don't like drama. I don't like fighting. No. And You're I have a, a small boo. circle. You're so, a lady. Yeah. Thank you. Your nails are too pretty to fight. Hey. It's very expensive. <laughs> we are very sorry. Ziki Zaga saying? from Westland wants to know the number of tattoos you have. Oh, wow. I have one tattoo. Oh. Please, he wants to know where it is and what it is. It's on my lower back. Okay. I got it when I was 16. So is it a tram stamp? Is that what they call it? Forget that. No. That's too ratchet Ch for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. No. So, but what is it? It means love. Oh, cute. And I got it with my first boyfriend. Girl. So he has one to A. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Wherever he is right now, oh, we you... have the same tattoo. Would you change but it? But in different places. Would you change it? No, I think it, it's actually nice. And it's like just one tattoo. So it's not. Would you get another one? If I was to get another one, it would be something very small and cute. Okay. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't judge. But yeah. I just feel like as a lady, you shouldn't have too much too going many, on. Yeah. I yeah. like simplicity. Ask so. Kim Kardashian. Say, why would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? I guess. Exactly. So you just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. I like that. I like that. Um, Nana Ifwa from Insawam wants to know if you will ever dive into politics one day or endorse a politician or like a politician candidate. Um, it's something I've thought about. Um, dive into politics. If it's something to make Ghana better, why not? At this moment, I don't know how to answer that question. Mm -hmm. um, endorse a politician. Hmm. Which one would you it's a, very, it's a very tricky situation. <laughs> should we just skip on? I think we should skip, skip on. the we question. We don't want trouble over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting you. Um, I am Kojo from Sunyane. Is asking if you will go naked for a movie, in a movie for $2 million. Mm -hmm. That sounds so tempting, but I doubt. You doubt? There's no... What's naked, it like naked, naked. Uh, naked, 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 Hmm. Like they do in the Hollywood. Like, okay, let, let's say $3 million. No, but naked in what sense? There's different angles. It's true. So, so maybe am I going to be like the... standing there and everything is showing or it's like, you uh, know. So it depends, yeah? It side depends. view. It Which depends. one would you do? Side view. Um, that one I might think about it. So. Mm. Yeah. Or the one from the back then, the tramp stamp. Oh, no, just... hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher from Tema wants you to tell us the worst date you've ever had. Oh, I actually remember this, you know. Hmm. Okay, so when I went to secondary school in Ghana, by the way. Oh, which one did you go to? Achimota. Oh, you're a Motown babe. Yes. Oh, period. Okay. So I went back to the U.S., okay. you know, to go to university college because I was already from there. And um, <laughs> this is going to sound so funny, but hey. So I um, went on a date with a guy while I was there some American guy and then we bought ice cream okay so ice cream for me ice cream for him okay and then he goes oh the bill's here can you pay it <sighs> first dates before Ghanaians start jumping into conclusions uh, first no. date no you asked no. me to go on a date ice cream and then you said what? what happened after did you pay though I did did you see him again? Hell no. Shame on you for making a pay for the ice cream. How can you do that? Fine babe like this. No, no, no not cream. even that. You asked us to go on yeah, the Yeah, but fine if babe. If I asked, then maybe. No, still, yeah, fine babe, period. Oh my How God. How can you let a sweet babe like this? Pay I was for like, the ice, cream. Mm. ice cream can count me. Shame on you. <laughs> Sorry, I've taken it very personal. I can see you are, that. You're such a hot babe. Ah. So we left him and we didn't go back. No. After that no. date, what? And happened? some other things, but that's like the main thing. Ugh. Ew. Anyways, Amidatu from Shukura is asking if branding is a necessity as an actress or actor. Branding? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. 100%. One billion percent. Even as a human being. Period. Branding. Mm -hmm. That's why you have a CV. That's why you go through all these things you go through. That's why you clean yourself up. That's why you go to school. That's why you get a degree. It's all part of branding. So it's very, very necessary. It's true. 
last question selena wants to know your take on beef in the industry so i'm guessing she means when like we pin artists to each other and then there's beef like drake and kendrick is doing right now like i don't mention the ones in ghana because they can find me a bit more easily but no you know mention I mean? them oh there's uh, sister fbi and fbi i know they have a low beef oh, okay. there's been shatawale and you know so that's what she means like just beefs in the industry <laughs> yeah, i'm too cute to oh. i don't fight so, <laughs> so ask the question again so she's saying she wants to know your take on mm -hmm. like beef like when people have beef um i told you before I don't like fighting. I'm a peace person. But sometimes it's necessary, right? I was going to say, because isn't it for like good... Exactly. Isn't it for like a like little publicity? publicity and yeah. all that. They yeah. say publicity, whether it's bad publicity or not, but it's still good depends publicity. Depends on how you... So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it depends on the person and their brand. Would you, would you agree to some small beef? Just let's say, let's say there's a movie coming and then like maybe you and another really good actress is in. Would you agree to do some small beef just to gets the viewers thirsting for me personally no no because i've oh, been offered that i've been offered that many times no there's no. other ways to do it but that's me okay i'm not frowning upon people that do that do you know you some people thrive off of that but that's just not my brand i feel you yeah that's just not her bra oh yeah yo yo, yo. i brought the same drama song time with my fair lady we'll be back <laughs> we'll be back that's small with Haley samney yeah, we're doing <laughs> rapid fire questions where we get like, so oh stick and gosh. stay with us. Red lipstick, Madame Ish. Peles, you know, she's shining. Madame what? Peles, because what does that mean? It's Peles. What language is that? Oh, my girl, it's Ga. Ga. Do you understand? Oh. Yeah, you are Peles. Okay. Tell her in the, in, the, in the comment section that she's Peles. So anyway, how do you translate that? You are glistering. You are okay. shining. Okay. But I like the Peles. You okay. like the Peles? Yeah. Peles. Peles. <laughs> Even like Peles, so this will be hey. old <laughs> Anyway, let's do rapid fire questions. So this is going to be this or that. I'll just ask you quick, quick, quick. You speak this or that. Okay. Don't think about it too much. Okay. 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 Are you ready? Mm -hmm. On your mark? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Go. Right. Go. Call or text? Text. Okay. Supporting local designers or international brands? Both. It's true. You're an international babe. Both. It's true. I understand. Frog legs or snails? Snails. Rich friend or loyal friend? Loyal. 
Um, acting or hosting a TV show? Acting. You really? For me. I would think you'd say TV because that's where you started, like hosting. Mm -mm. But you like the acting here. Um, badly wounded or dead? Would you be? Would you rather be badly wounded or would you rather be dead? Badly wounded. Okay. I'm a soldier. Period. <laughs> um, being loved by everyone or being true to yourself? Being true to myself. Indoor activities or outdoor adventures? Outdoor adventures. Okay. Sneakers or heels? Heels. Really? Um, would you want to stay in or would you like to go clubbing? Uh, mm, it depends. Both. Both. Okay. Chocolate or vanilla ice cream? Vanilla. I hate chocolate, by Rihanna the way. Rihanna or Beyonce? Rihanna. Okay, Celine Dion or Beyonce? Celine Dion. Hey, okay. Well, that has been it. It's been so nice chatting with you. It was so short. What do you think so? Hey, you should come back again. I will come back. Tell it. Tell, tell right. I'll come, come back. You'll come back. <laughs> I have will. a longer conversation. We'll delve deep into I... your love life. I want to name this a man day. Sorry. <laughs> I will not come back. <laughs> It's been honestly speaking. I've been your host, Abba Kumadatsen. Miss Haley, Sammy, do you want to tell your fans anything? Do you have any work coming up? Do you want them to follow you on um, social media? I want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. Without you, who am I? I know everyone says that, but seriously, without yeah. you, who am I? Period. Exactly. Um, work coming up. I just had um, a movie, Soft Work. That's on Amazon Prime. Okay. And it just literally came on Rock TV. Okay. Two days ago. Okay. So it's still check showing. It so you guys can check that out. And more works to come. <laughs> Period. Well, Haley, thank you so much for joining me today thank and having you. a lovely. You were like the brightness of the night. Thank you so much. If I go again, you come. I will come. Period. I want to say a big thank you to La Palma Royal Beach, the Afro Lounge for having us and taking care of us remember to subscribe to our youtube channel if you want more of this follow us on all social media platforms come house production and i will catch you same time next time it's with abba kumadatsi thank you so much for coming and until thank next time you. what will we say to them bye, bye.